everyone, Adam Lamott here. Today we're going to talk about holding the darn thing. For a lot of you who haven't played a lot of Baroque violin before, it's probably kind of hard to switch immediately over. Take off the shoulder rest, take off the chin rest, and then it feels so strange like it's going to slip around and you can't shift and can't do all the things that you're used to being able to do comfortably. So we're going to talk about a few steps to help you along that path. First of all, I highly recommend one of these spongy pads. They're actually cosmetic pads that you can get at a drugstore or online. Just the little red cosmetic pads. The white ones aren't as sticky. And the point is to keep it from slipping off your shirt. So you feel a little bit more comfortable just holding the thing without, without the shoulder rest, without the chin rest. Second of all, um, it's fine to put your chin on the violin and with a Baroque instrument like this one that's equipped with a Baroque tailpiece and a Baroque tail gut that actually raises it up quite a bit, it's sort of comfortable, at least I found it somewhat, well, not uncomfortable, to put your jaw kind of right on the tailpiece. And that's fine as long as you're not clamping down. There are people who actually hold it somewhat over here. I mean, there are instruments that have wear marks from this side, so we know that historically actually people held it however they could. And that's really my big advice for you today, is to experiment a lot to see where it's comfortable for you, or at least you can deal with it. Um, at this point, nothing's really going to be comfortable if you're just starting out, especially if you've had a big shoulder rest. Um, you can get a few of these, like three or four, if you get like a three or four pack, then you can kind of layer them up to take up a little bit more space so that it's a little bit more like a shoulder rest. And then over time, you can just kind of wean yourself off. That's what I did years ago. Um, and then shifting is the, kind of the big issue here. How do you shift without the use of a shoulder rest or chin rest? Um, again, stabilize. The only thing that you really need to stabilize for is downshifting. Upshifting, you're kind of pushing the violin in towards your neck, so you don't really need to, to stabilize or have the chin down. But for shifting down, you don't want the fiddle to come out from your shoulder. So you just need a tiny bit of pressure and experiment. I mean, just doing shifts like and what I'm doing is putting my chin on for the down shifts and then lifting it for the up shifts. Another thing to be careful of is hiking your shoulder here. You don't want to do that, which um, I, I see a lot of people when they first start out, they're trying to make up that space. Just get used to holding it completely with your left hand, totally with your left hand. And one way to do that is to have what my teacher, <laughs> my first teacher used to call uh, the no-no wrist. Like, no, no, <laughs> you gotta get it straight. But for pancake wrist, some of you may have had teachers that called it that. It's a big no-no, especially in Suzuki world, to put your wrist like this. But I find it very helpful to form a good hand position that's not kind of this block, more inward and more held and therefore it opens up your palms so you can actually hold the violin neck in your hand and then try to play just a simple scale and see if you can kind of get used to it over time it'll feel a lot more comfortable than it does right now that's for sure it's a difficult transition but over a period of months and certainly years you'll get used to it and, and it'll feel perfectly comfortable 